Hi there, this is Linda. Welcome back. In this video, I'm putting together the week of September 26th through October 2nd in my 2022 Project Life album. This week is going to come together super quickly. This is the last week in the month of September, so I'm using the Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kit for September. And if you've been watching my videos this year, you know that I'm using the same four cards from that kit, I've seen four three by four cards and the same four by six card from that kit every month. So there's not a lot of decision making for this page. So it's just going to come together super simply. And I just kind of like having that repetition once a month this year while I am working on this album because it helps me stay up to date. Because when you take that decision making process out of your um, project, it just brings everything together so quickly. So what I did first was I printed out all of my photos from this week and I cropped them and you can see I left just exactly four spots for the four three by four cards that I have repeated and then the spot for the title card, which is the four by six card that's repeated. So again, I'm just not making any real decisions here. I'm just using the formula that I have previously gone with. Because I wanted to keep it super simple, I'm just trying to work with the products in the kit. So I pulled those wood veneer pieces over first and tested them out as a repeated embellishment and decided that the sentiments just didn't really fit my photos. So I decided to use some of the uh, chipboard pieces instead. I pulled out a chipboard piece to go on, um, let's see, five of the different four by six cards there. And then I decided that they needed something else. So I went over to my stash and found these circle stickers and I believe they're all from Allie Edwards. I got four different piece, um, pages over here to choose from. And I ended up choosing most of them from that one right there that I'm holding right here. And that is from the outdoor collection. And I just kind of paired each of those with one of the chipboard pieces. And now I'm moving on to this card. So this card was, there are two photos my daughter took with her friends from her cross country team. I think it's like all the graduating seniors and they were just very low quality when they were sent to me. So I printed them small on this four by six card in a layered template that I created over on Photoshop elements that I use periodically. I would prefer to just choose one of the photos because they're very similar and just print one of them. But because the quality was so poor, I did it this way instead. And because it had that extra white space, I felt like it needed something extra. So I used one of those tab stickers from the kit and I just cut it in half because there wasn't anything to fold it over with. And I put the other half back on the pad so I can use it on another page. This card right here, I'm just journaling about Tuesday this week, which was an extremely busy day. I had a long day of work and then it was senior night for cross country. So a lot of my photos um, on the spread are from that night. Um, so I am just journaling all about that on this card. Um, when I'm using these repeated cards, the one that I just did and this one right here, I'm doing stories from the week and the other two I'm using to tell an overview of stories from the month. And I like that reflection. I'm not sure that I'm going to continue that into the following year, but I do like that I've done that this year um, and it has helped me kind of do some reflecting each month. On this card, I pulled over some puffy heart stickers that I have from Freckled Fawn. Um, that were from their kit that was September themed and the colors just coordinated well with this one just because these are very general September colors and I'm just journaling a few other stories about things that happened this week. It wasn't a super eventful week. It was pretty busy but not you know a lot of fun stuff. It was you know a lot of work and that kind of thing so I just pulled a few um, specific stories out I did walk a nine mile walk on Saturday and I have a couple photos from that. It's just a very gorgeous time of year here in um, upstate New York where I live. So I journaled a bit about that and I've been including photos and you'll see some popping up in the next few weeks when I take a lot of photos outdoor in the fall in um, upstate New York. So I finish it off with these last two cards that are reflecting on the month. This one that says September gratitudes, I'm using to kind of overview five factual stories from the month of things that were positives. And then this happened is just kind of a general overview about how the month went and my feelings for the month and pretty much how September was just ridiculously busy 
and getting settling into new routines and you know just how quickly time is flying. So that is it. I'm going to call this spread done. Like I said, it was extremely simple and sometimes it's fun to do that just to keep up with this project and keep the um, rest, um, repetition through my album so that the entire album feels cohesive. The last step, of course, is slipping everything into the pockets and just making sure that it fits. And then that's it. I'm going to call this one good. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Bye.